Welcome everyone, Questine here on Serious Gaming with the Art of War for Age of Empires 2, the Definitive Edition. Let's get going. Gonna go for an early economy after playing the initial cinematic. Before you can lead an army into battle, you must first learn the nine principles of the Art of War, written by the famous warrior and philosopher Sun Tzu. His teachings come to us from ancient books, and his infinite wisdom about warfare and military tactics still apply to this day. I will guide you and teach you these most important lessons, Commander. Listen very well. Sun Tzu teaches us not only how to engage our enemies, but also how to manage logistics. An army cannot fight without the proper supplies. Without food, arrows, and arms, an army cannot stand its ground. In the words of Sun Tzu, bring war material with you from home, but forage in enemy territory. Then the army will have enough food to survive. Let us see if you understand this advice. Indeed, we shall. As you're growing your civilization, it's important to start off on the right foot. A thriving early economy will allow you to reach the feudal age in a strong position from which you can continue to grow and ably battle your opponent. We'll start off with gathering food from our sheep. It is important to note that all animals decay while you harvest food from them. Make sure not to kill all of your animals at once. We'll focus all our villages on a single sheep, and once they are done, move them all together to the next one. This minimizes food decay. When gathering resources, it's important not to lose too much time walking to the nearest gather point. Make sure to place your mills, lumber camps, mining camps, and town centers close to resources. You can also queue up multiple tasks for your villagers by holding down the shift key when assigning tasks. This is a new feature in the Definitive Edition. The last lesson is a dangerous one, so pay attention. Boars are difficult to hunt. They are far away and fight back fiercely when you try to hunt them. However, it is possible to lure a boar to your town center and kill it safely. Before we do this, we might want to research loom in the town center, as it makes our villagers much stronger. Next. Select one villager, then right-click on a nearby boar to go hunt it. Watch closely as the villager shoots it twice. Now that the boar is properly aggravated and is charging at the villager, task your villager to run back to the safety of your town center. Once the boar is close to the town center, have other nearby villagers shoot the boar to kill it. Excellent. Dinner is served. Okay, I'm guessing that was probably some mute to bird. The volume is a bit lower than the rest of the game. Which makes it a bit difficult to understand. So gather 500 hood, train 21 villagers and advance to the feudal age. Advancing with 21 villagers is the norm in multiplayer games. So there is the point of, you know, forcing you to get that much in order to do it. Now, um... You need to gather 500 hood, train 21 villagers and then advance to the feudal age in order to complete this challenge. So I'm going... So I start with four sheep. You... We'll probably start on a lot of multiplayer games with our sheep, but you also get these extra sheep. So I'm going to get six villagers on sheep. A seventh will get the boar, but uh, I'll first get berries. And then I'll worry about lumber. Lumber is not a priority here, though it is worth pointing out that lumber would certainly be a priority for you to get in an actual multiplayer game. So. The guide in order to get gold medal is not particularly accurate. Let's be let's put it frankly, because you don't care about proper resource management. You more so care about. Okay, that guy certainly went uh, the wrong way. All right, gonna get another sheep. Now there are some sheep to the north, I believe. You will also need a lumber camp and a mill. Place the lumber camp right mm -hmm. next to the forest on your left. And place the mill right okay. next to the forage bushes in the north of your base. Keep using your scout cavalry to explore. You must find all resources that are close to your town center. All right, so I'm going to get a bunch of villagers here. Actually, I'll get this one to get the boar. Yeah. Because why not? You don't need loom to get the boar, just to be clear. It's a... It's more so a safety measure. It's more so really a safety measure, more so than anything else. Now you need to be careful a bit here with regards to your food, because your villagers... 
may will not uh, return to the town center quickly. Now is a good time to start luring a boar, like in the video. Yep. It might not work the first time that you try it, Toyo? but do not work. Yeah? Practice makes perfect. Sanyangkun. Okay. 준비. Sanyangkun. Sanyangkun. Right, I'm I'm sending these guys continuously backwards. I'll I'll need the. Yeah. Tejikun. Okay. Now hopefully they do go back before this guy. Toyo? Yeah, she will. She will go back. Now I I don't necessarily want to send these guys back. Uh, Yeah. I'll get one more on wood. Yep. Alright, three minutes. That's good enough. She is certainly lost there. Alright, I'll just uh, position her on that. I'll need a lumber camp as well. And this will be the last... Uh, Okay. That's the last house. You have gathered 400 food. You are so close. You do not need to mine stone or gold for this challenge. Focus on gathering food and wood instead. Okay. I'm gonna fall back. I got 20 villagers. Not the best way, by the way. You've gathered 500 food. You still there we need go. 21 villagers. Be There's sure the to keep your villagers working at all times. And also assure that your town center Jimmy. never stops producing villagers. Only then can you hope to earn a medal from this challenge. You manage Yeah, that was basically it. That was the booming uh, the early economy challenge. Not uh, really the smartest way to do it uh, to build your early economy. You do need more wood. Uh, specifically because you want to transition to farms, that is. And that's the reason behind it. I mean, yes, sheep, hunting, all that useful, but uh, you would want to get more villagers on wood, you would want to get villagers on gold. So that's... Um, uh, that's why it's not necessarily the most useful in the world. But, to be fair, the Fast Castle Age uh, challenge will probably push you towards that goal anyway. But yeah, the early economy is just basically, you know, how do you set up your villagers early on? How do you manage your villagers early on in the game? And how do you, you know, build, uh, how do you get a lot of food? Now that's a fairly fast feudal age push in quite a lot of respects. Like eight minutes to advance to the feudal age, what, two minutes or so, give or take? The average, just so people understand, the average is about 11 minutes in Age of Empires 2. The average was about 11 minutes to get to the Feudal Age, 10 or 10 and a half or something like that for Mongols, if I know my statistics correctly. But anyway, that's early economy. Let's get to something more interesting with Boom and Costine signing off. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more.